So now one of the things that's probably on everybody's mind at the moment is uh, the war in um, Ukraine, between Russia and Ukraine. A Ukrainian brother who was on line and he actually gave us specific things to pray for. So Emma's going to come and tell us that and also and also Joan is going to put some prayers in for, for Ukraine as well. The Ukrainian pastor asked us to pray for leaders, church leaders, world leaders and local political leaders. So let's pray for them first of all. We'll have a moment of silence and then we'll pr I'll pray to close that bit. Father, you tell us in your word that we need to pray for leaders. Um, so Lord, we lift up church leaders, world leaders, local political leaders in Ukraine this morning. We just ask that you would give them wisdom as they lead and you'd give them courage. And where there are leaders who are um, making wrong decisions, Lord, will you change that? Will you change their hearts and help them to have compassion? In Jesus' name, amen. Then the next thing the pastor asked us to pray for is the Ukrainian church to be salt and light. And he said that most church leaders are actually staying where they are, um, even though it's really, really dangerous. They're staying in their local communities to serve the people there and to give them um, some safety and some food and water. So let's pray for the Ukrainian church. We'll have another moment of silence and then we'll pray for them. Dear Lord Jesus, um, we thank you that you have people who know and love you in Ukraine, thousands of them. And thank you, Lord, that you've placed them where they are and that you've given them the courage and the bravery and the strength to stay there. Lord, we just pray you would help them to be salt and light in their communities, that God's peace will spread from every pulpit to every home, and that more and more people would come to know you through this awful crisis. In Jesus' name, amen. The next thing he asked us to pray for was for peace. And Jonah's going to pray for peace. So Jonah, would you like to pray for peace in Ukraine? Dear Lord Jesus, stop making Stop Russia from putting bombs in Ukraine. Amen. Amen. And finally, the Ukrainian pastor asked us to pray for Russia. Um, they're the aggressor in this situation, and the Ukrainian church really is just, they've got compassion on the people of Russia because they realize that they've been dragged into this and don't necessarily want a war. Um, so let's just have a moment of silence and then we'll pray for Russia. Dear Lord Jesus, please help the people in Russia and please help Vladimir Putin to stop what he's doing. Um, Lord Jesus, we just ask that if Vladimir Putin is being controlled by Satan at the moment, um, that you would just break in and that your power would just cause that to just stop. Lord Jesus, um, we just pray for a miracle in that situation. That he would just encounter you at some point and that um, he would just be compelled to stop what he's doing. Pray for the people in Russia who are protesting, um, many of whom have put their lives in danger in order to speak out against this war. Um, yeah, Lord, just thank you again for their bravery. And we just pray that you would give them the strength that they need and the comfort that they need to get through whatever punishment they're facing. In Jesus' name, amen.